JBN we keep you informed. Buja Banton needs special permission to perform in Trinidad and Tobago. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Minister of National Security Stuart Young said that because of Buja Banton's criminal history, he will need to apply for special permission to enter Trinidad and Tobago. Speaking at Thursday's post-cabinet briefing, Young said, however, that he's prepared to issue the exemption in order for Buja Banton, real name Mark Mary, to perform. That is squarely on my desk. Buja Banton falls foul of our immigration laws in Trinidad and Tobago. I have asked that he be conveyed to the organizers of the concert that they need to make an application to the minister. I can see at this stage I am prepared to give an exemption, he said. Meanwhile, special permission has already been granted for Buja Banton to perform in Barbados because his criminal conviction automatically disqualified him from gaining entry into Barbados. Banton will make his fourth stop in his Long Walk to Freedom tour on April 27 at the Kensington Oval. Minister of Home Affairs Edmund Ixon, whose portfolio includes immigration, confirmed in February of 2019 that the decision was made at the ministerial level. The Minister of Immigration always has the right on circumstances to allow someone in Barbados, let's put it that way, and we have agreed to allow Butcher Banton to come in, Inkson said. Butcher Banton, whose real name is Mark Mary, was held by U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration agents in December 2009 in Miami, where the U.S. Attorney charged him with conspiracy to distribute and possession of more than 5 kilograms of cocaine. Banton was released from prison in the U.S. on December 7, 2018, after being convicted of drug trafficking in 2011. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.